Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to repair VC Redist file. So go to the game installation folder. So click on manage. Now click on view properties, open folder. Or you can go to this location, open File Explorer, and then open C Drive Program Files, EA Games, EA Sports FC, and then open the Installer folder. Now open VC folder. Now open VC 2012 Update 3 folder and Redist folder, and then run this file. Make a right click and then click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes to allow. If you see Repair, click on Repair. If you see Install, click on Install. Now once done, close this. Again, make a right click. Run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now if you see repair, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. Once done, now you can check. If not working, then restart. You can wait once. And after the system restart, you can check. Now the next step is to uninstall Visual C++ 2012 file. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Now click on uninstall the program and then scroll down and uninstall these like here you can see C++ 2012, 2012. So you have to uninstall both the file. So uninstall the 2012 file. So make a right click and then click on uninstall. Click on yes and then click on uninstall over here. Once uninstall is done, you can just I will not do it because I am not receiving the error. Now again select the second 2012 file now click on uninstall click on yes now click on uninstall now once the uninstall is complete restart you can build. after the system restart you can check still you are receiving there in that case install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see 2012 c++ Click on download and then download this x64 file first. Click on download. Now click on it. Now you will see the install option because we have uninstalled it. So you will see the install button. So click on install. So if you see install, click on install. If you see repair, click on repair. So in your case, it will be install button because we have already uninstalled it. Now refresh this page and then this time click on download once again and download this x86 download and then run this file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install now after the installation in my case i've already installed so after the installation restart you can be running. after the system restart you can check still not working then Copy the second link. This link is also provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. And then here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. You have to download this x86 and x64 once again. So click on x86 and run this file. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now download this x64. Again, run this exe file. Now if you see see the repair option click on repair if you see the install but install option click on install and let it install once the installation is complete then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can check now still you're facing the error in that case the next step is to uninstall all the microsoft visual c++ files so you can open control panel and then go to control panel click on uninstall a program select all microsoft visual c++ file uninstall all the visual c++ file now once you uninstall it restart you can be and after the system restart again you can download these two files this one and this one so or you can see first of all install only the install from this page install this one install this x86 x64 and then try to check still you are receiving the error in that case you can go to the first link this the 2012 link and then you can install it install the x86 and x64 version and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel